three, two, one, start. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike, I'm a GP in Manchester, UK, and I'm also a university tutor at one of the medical schools nearby. And in this short video, I'm going to share with you a super fast way to send sick notes to your patients using Emis and Acurix. Finally, if you stick around to the end, we're going to order some brand spanking new GP on the move merch. So let's get started. I suspect that this is the same for most of you. But a question that I'm being asked a lot recently is what superpower would I prefer, flying or invisibility? And I mean, the answer to that one is pretty obvious, but how cool would it be if within a few minutes I could give you the power of super fastness? Start by loading your patient record. And remember the trick I showed you in this video, F6, F4, and choose the problem, anxiety and depression. Add fit note, not fit for work. And this will be the case for two weeks. Now at this point, you need to change the printer name to print to PDF. And it's really important that you actually click preview and not print. If you click print, Emis will crash. And when I showed the partners at my practice this, they were like, how the heck did you figure that out? And a misspent youth was the simple but honest answer. Click on preview. And this is where you can click print. Yes. You might want to create a folder. This is in my shared drive, mpopgill under sick notes. Figure out a way to name your sick notes the way I do it. First name, last name, and the date I did the sick notes. This is Tilly Tester. Today is the 13th of April, 2021. Save. Now, before you save this consultation, just make sure you're saving it under administration notes. And you can change the type of consultation by clicking on this little arrow. All right, save. At this point, go into File Explorer and find the sick note that you just created. There are two ways that you can do this. First way is that you can go directly into your folder that has all of your sick notes, or an even better way is to go into quick access. Click on that, and that will have 20 of your most recent files. And here it is, TT. Now here's a shortcut to flip the sick note counterclockwise. Control, Shift, Minus. Go to your signature, and I showed you how to create signatures in this video, and the link is gonna be on the screen now. Bring it down doctor's signature and save. Choose the folder you want it to go to. I usually keep it in the same folder and I actually replace the unsigned sick note. Now you might have noticed that I used a keyboard shortcut to skip from no to yes. And the way to do that is shift and tab. You can close this. And if you want to get really fancy, you can actually just click Alt F4 and you can click Alt F4 again. Go to the message button in Acurix. And this is where you need to create a template, a template that you can use over and over again without actually having to type anything. Go into template and manage templates. You might have to log into Acurix at this stage. Create new and sick note, new. Keep it nice and concise and save. You can close this, go back to Acurix, click on template, sick note new, attach the sick note. And again, it will come up here in your recent files. Send. And it's done. Finally, I promised you a bonus at the end. Let's order some brand new GP on the Move merch and let me walk you through the process. Go on to the GP on the Move website. Now there are two ways that you can access the shop just by clicking shop. You can scroll down to the bottom and here it is, GP on the Move merch. Let's click shop. Brilliant. <laughs> GP on the Move merch, free shipping on orders over 29 pounds. Scroll down. So I definitely want a mug. Uh, these are pretty cool. And uh, I like the black t-shirt, to be honest. Let's go add to cart. You can see more details when you click on the view more details. Now, if you're not sure about the sizes, there's a nice table here that will help you. I know I'm a medium, basically. Medium, add to cart. All right, let's view the cart. 
Let's check out, and this is all SSL secure shopping. Okay, so let's pop in some details here. Seems like it has all of my details already. Yeah, telephone number, continue. Let's pop in my credit card details. Okay, billing address is the same as shipping address. So let's place the order. All right, that's all gone through. So when the package arrives, I'm gonna open it. We're gonna talk about setting up a shop and we're gonna compare different t-shirt companies. Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative. If you did find that useful, give me a thumbs up and like this video. And you can also leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe. And you can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.